Hello, African sports fanatics. Welcome to another episode of the Safari Soccer Show. I'm your host, Yvonne Etta. Um, now, my guest today is a, a goalkeeper. Uh, maybe just introduce yourself and uh, take us through your football journey as a whole since you started as a kid and up to now at Black Leopards. Yeah, hello, guys. Uh, my name is uh, Mori Job, uh, Gambian international goalkeeper. Yeah. Uh, Black Leopard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, very happy to join you in the show. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So from here about uh, my journey. Yeah. Uh, in the soccer I'm doing. Uh, it was. Uh, it has been a very hectic journey. Mm -hmm. a very long way. Yeah. Uh, very long. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, as as a as a soccer player, always yeah. you have to focus and uh, believe yourself uh, uh, to be ready to reach your where you want to reach. It's always difficult as a yeah. footballer when you start uh, when you start a football mm -hmm. at the earlier age, um, uh, watching football yeah. and uh, on TV and uh, always want to be with uh, always want to be one of them. Yeah. Who are, you are, you are watching on TV, yeah. so it's always uh, difficult. But oh, you have to have your mindset that this is what I want. This yeah. is where I want to reach. Yeah. So it's been a very very tough tough journey because. Mm -hmm. uh, I can uh, quick uh, education because of football. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a big sacrifice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sacrifice that. So I'm really, I'm really happy uh, that uh, today I reach uh, this uh, this level uh, because I started football in a, uh, in my school in the school team. Mm -hmm. So from there, then I moved to a second a second a second division team yeah. that is called Flamings Football Club. Mm -hmm. uh, that I spent uh, oh, one season there. Then mm -hmm. from there, mm -hmm. uh, that's the time they call, they called me for the under seventeen. Then I was with them. Then after. I left there and then uh, after I joined Real de Banyo, that was 2006, uh, yeah. when I joined uh, uh, F, uh, a team playing in, uh, in our first division league in Gambia yeah. uh, called Real de Banyo. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where I start playing in 2006. Mm -hmm. Then I play with them uh, for two, two seasons before, mm -hmm. before, before heading to Gambia, Gambia Armed Forces. Mm -hmm. uh, with Real de Banyun, I have won. Uh, I have won uh, two two league title there before leaving to Armed Forces, Gambia Armed Forces. Mm -hmm. Then when I went to Gambia Armed Forces, also I started there. I won the league. Then I went back to Real de Banyun mm -hmm. and also play with them. Then won the league again. Then won the FA Cup with them again. Uh, so the Super Cup with them. Mm -hmm. Then finally, around 2012, 2013, then that's where I left. Uh, I went to play Senegal, yeah. playing in a team called uh, Nyar Italy. Mm -hmm. Then I, I spent two years with them. I won the I won the FA Cup with them. Mm -hmm. uh, so then I moved to another team in the same the same country in Senegal. Mm -hmm. uh, I said uh, Linger, Linger. I I joined Linger. I played with them for a season. Then from there, I moved to Nigeria to yeah. play for El Kenemi. Uh, where I spent two two, two seasons with them. Mm -hmm. Then from there, I moved to, I moved to Saudi Arabia. I played with uh, Jidda Club. Mm -hmm. I spent season with them. Then from yeah. there, uh, I came back to Gambia. Then I was uh, four months uh, without a team. Then I have to move to Senegal to go and play with uh, Jambur. Mm -hmm. Then from Jambur, uh, uh, now I'm here at the Black Leopard yeah. in South Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been a long, long journey. Yeah. Uh, it's been a long journey, but uh, as I told you, you mm -hmm. always have to focus. You have to believe yourself. Mm -hmm. This is where I want to reach. Mm -hmm. Thank God, uh, thank God uh, in my journey, uh, I didn't have a lot of difficulties like injuries. That's yeah. because in we know about sport, football, especially football. When you have injury, then you can't go. You can't, yeah. you can't go. You, you can't, you can't have... Uh, long career yeah so i thank uh, i thank god for that uh, not having these uh, problems mm -hmm. those uh, that is keeping me alive now, right now playing still now mm -hmm. at my age uh, 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 with my age at least 33 uh, 33 you should be struggling some people they struggle <laughs> with injuries yeah. as you know mm -hmm. but uh, 
But with my age, uh, still now, I don't have those difficulties. So I thank God for that. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm, uh, really, I'm, I'm really ready to push, to push, uh, to get something from here. Uh, the team bought me to come here. Mm -hmm. uh, to take them back to the Premier League. Yeah, that's my uh, that's my that's my uh, focus uh, and my goal mm -hmm. to take the team back to where they they, they belong. To. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, is that's uh, that's my journey. Mm -hmm. It was a uh, it was a tough journey though. Uh, you know, changing countries, changing clubs. Yeah, always different different. You find different mentalities. Yeah. No, uh, Gambia, Gambia and Senegal is. It's almost the same country, but uh, the way we play soccer is different. It's different, yeah. So Gambia, yeah. Gambia is more more of tac uh, tactic. We play. We have we have more technique than Senegal. Yeah. Despite they are more organized, uh, but they are physically they are very strong. Mm -hmm. They are, so from Gambia to Senegal. So in my first season, I I struggled a bit, but after all, after my second season, at least it was the things we are good yeah, yeah. Uh, when I understand the way they play soccer mm -hmm. here then after moving there to Lingier also I have a very good campaign with them mm -hmm. uh, it's nice though it's nice though a lot of experience Nigeria also yeah. uh, going to Nigeria also you have physically they are very strong technically mm -hmm. they are very good uh, mm -hmm. so you have when play when you play two countries or three countries um, different countries in Africa Mm -hmm. Then you have uh, enough experience. Uh, you know Africa, so especially West Africa, within the West Africa. So yeah. now I'm at the Southern Southern Africa. Mm -hmm. So different football here. Yeah. Uh, different dif different football. Yeah. Techn they technically they are very good, mm -hmm. but physically it's not. They it's... don't. They are, they, they are physically they are not good. But <laughs> and the tempo also is very fast. Uh, yeah. So football is very fast. So at least. <laughs> I have learned. I have learned a lot here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, um, if you if you if you compare my previous club, mm -hmm. I have learned a lot of things here at this short time. Within four months, I have learned a lot mm -hmm. because the league is uh, play high tempo. Yeah. Uh, strong. Mm -hmm. uh, the ball is very fast. So mm -hmm. uh, I love it. I love it here, and I start. Uh, I start. Uh, I start uh, mastering the system, so yeah. and I hope uh, things will continue like that. And, uh, this yeah. is my uh, story, uh, story where I struggle mm -hmm. uh, till where I'm right now, where I am. Yeah. Uh, so it's been a very, very difficult journey. Um, when you are playing, people think that uh, um, you will not reach. Mm -hmm. uh, you not reach where you want, but always you no. have to focus and yeah. determine yeah. that this this is where I want to reach. Mm -hmm. So really, I have worked hard uh, to to reach this level, and I thank God for that. Uh, and the support uh, my family gave me, uh, they gave they are always behind me, mm -hmm. uh, always helping me, always making decisions for me. Mm -hmm. Because as you know, uh, sometimes it's difficult to take decisions uh, alone. Yeah. Uh, when you have family, always mm -hmm. you have to consult them, take this on together. Yeah. So at least uh, uh, your mind can be free to play soccer. Yeah. That's my club. Uh, that's my, my that's my club. Uh, uh, my 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 journey for my clubs, but uh, also for the national team also. Maybe you know, like uh, maybe before we get to the national mm -hmm. team, I I want to focus on your club. Mm -hmm. I you have had a. Uh, a good, a tough journey, mm. as you said, but also I think a successful one because you've won, you've won a lot of cups before. But then uh, mm. let's talk about your time when you signed for the Nigerian Professional Football League. Uh, you signed mm -hmm. in November 2017, but then you got to have your first match in 2018. Why was there a delay between this period of time? Yeah, uh, it's true. Uh, when I, I joined the team, uh, it was late uh, 2017. Yeah. So I was there with them uh, training. Uh, uh, my ITC was delayed from uh, Senegal, mm -hmm. and because of my team, my, mm -hmm. te my team, uh, my team was uh, still negotiating uh, for my move. 
Yeah. When I was uh, moving, uh, when I was moving to Nigeria, mm -hmm. that time my club uh, were not even happy, so mm -hmm. they were still negotiating. So they told me that you can go. Mm -hmm. So we we still uh, keep in touch with the club. Mm -hmm. So if I was with the team. I uh, went to the preseason. I almost play all the games in the preseason. Yeah. So I did well. Uh, so when I signed finally, uh, I was waiting for my 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 papers from mm -hmm. Senegal. Yeah. But still, it was a lot of delay. And, uh, mm -hmm. after twelve games, after twelve games, I didn't play. Yeah. So it was uh, it was a long journey and uh, so frustrating. Uh, uh, you know, training as a player, training yeah. without playing is always really difficult. So yeah. You don't focus. Yeah. So thank God, uh, at the at the um, beginning of uh, 2018, I started playing yeah. and uh, really helped him. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, your current club, Black Leopards, was relegated to and now plays for the National First Division. So maybe if you can just tell us what are the plans that uh, the club has so as to get back to the PSL next season? Yeah, I highlighted that in the when I was talking. Uh, the team brought me here uh, yeah. at least to help them mm -hmm. to help them uh, to go back uh, where they belong. Yeah, that's the mm -hmm. and uh, this this is our this is our goal. Mm -hmm. uh, our target is uh, to move back to the Premier League, yeah. and uh, we are working very hard. Uh, mm -hmm. We are working very hard as you because we change a coach. Yeah. Uh, sometimes when you change coach, you struggle. But uh, I think right now mm -hmm. uh, the team is well focused. Uh, we are doing well with our new coach, mm -hmm. and we are fighting very very hard uh, at training ground. So mm -hmm. right now the team is. Uh, uh, well placed, a uh, yeah. lot of competition in a uh, in lot of places, a lot of yeah. positions. Yeah. Um, right now, you you can train, but you don't know even you, you're going to play or you're not going to play because yeah. every position you have two, three players, good yeah. ones, so that are performing on training ground. Yeah. So that is also helping the team and the coach uh, to select good players. So when competition is too much in the team, uh, mm -hmm. uh, then it helps the team because anybody you br bring, you, yeah. can, you can fit in the system so that is helping us and uh, we we played day before yesterday and we won yeah so we just uh, we, we just want to focus in our previous uh, coming game that is these uh, four games coming before the break mm -hmm. at least if we can have 12 12 points mm -hmm. maximum 12 points if you can get it it's okay yeah. that's our target but if we can't get it at least if we can get uh, 10 points mm -hmm. then uh, i think it's a good thing yeah so so uh, you want to tell me about your uh, time with the national team, but mm -hmm. I think when you first made your debut for the national team, uh, was one of the best. I think it will be one of the best moments in your life. You were just 18 with no experience of an international football, but then you are put between the sticks. And I, it turned out to be your best match because you guys were red carded, you were down to nine, you had yeah. a clean sheet in the game. I mean, just tell us uh, how this game was and let us let us just have a glimpse of the match and how you felt. Really, at uh, that moment, I felt very, very good, very yeah. excited yeah. because it's not easy yeah. um, uh, to make it in the national team, especially yeah. in Africa, for uh, when you are 18, 18 years, yeah. when no, when, when when nobody trusts you. Yeah. Uh, I came to I came to the national team when they when they call when they make when they announce the national team mm -hmm. for that game. Um, uh, because we we were having uh, two professional goalkeepers from Sweden, yeah. Yeah. Baden Boture and uh, Musa Baja. They are senior goalkeepers, mm -hmm. one of the best goalkeepers in the history of the country. Mm -hmm. So when they call me, there are a lot of people tell me that I'm wasting my time, so I will never play mm -hmm. because they are very good goalkeepers. So uh, as I told you, I never give up. I always keep fighting. Mm -hmm. I trust myself. Yeah. This is where I want to reach. This is what I want to do. I will do it mm -hmm. no matter what people say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Sometimes I go for training, people discourage me. Ah, you are disturbing your time. Just concentrate on your education. Yeah. But uh, I still know this is what I want. Yeah. I want to play my country. 
I want to have everything in in football. Yeah. This is what I was. This is what I believe. I was there with them. Mm -hmm. So my first, uh, my f that's my first call up was against Guinea Conakry. Yeah. Yeah, away to Guinea Conakry. So I was there in the team, but I was later dropped uh, in the night before the team traveled to Guinea Conakry. Mm -hmm. But uh, unfortunately, in the in the early hours of more uh, Friday. Yeah. They called me in the morning to 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 prepare my stops and go to the airport to join the team because one of our goalkeeper was sick, so I joined the team there. So we went to Guinea Conakry. I was on the bench. Uh, I didn't play that game, so we drew that game two two. Yeah. Then uh, we came back to Gambia. Within uh, two days, we have to travel to Kibat. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, our three goalkeepers, uh, our two goalkeepers, they couldn't make it. Uh, so I was the only goalkeeper only goal. yeah. when we reached uh, in uh, Kevat. When yeah, uh, they supposed to connect us there, but mm -hmm. unfortunately there was no flight from from Senegal to Kevat. So like uh, everybody in the camp was disturbed. Like uh, uh, how can we play with this small boy mm. uh, who has no experience? So. Uh, the camp was so 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 quiet, so disturbed. Everybody's like scared. Yeah, we can make it. We can make it to this game. But uh, uh, thank God we have a uh, good senior player. You see, like what the end of the team, and uh, he really motivated me. And young Kuba Sise, so uh, a senior player there. He really motivated me. Hi, hi, told you because my nickname is told you. They normally call me told you. Yeah. You can do it. We trust you. That's why we brought you here. Uh, this is no different game. The game you are playing in Gambia is the same game that you're going to play here. Yeah, yeah. 11, 11 B 11. So you just focus. Uh, you just play your game. Mm -hmm. um, at, the, at the at the day of the game, even uh, I didn't have cloth, good cloth to play because the cloth I was using, everything was like. Really spoil. I can't yeah. even. I can't even catch a ball with that. So I have to go. They have to take me to drive me to go to the sports shop to buy new Adidas. That's yeah. what I use for the game. Uh, I never even. I I didn't even train with it. So I have to just gamble with it. I go with it to the game. So the game was really tough, and uh, we play in uh, you know Kevat. Mm -hmm. Normally it's very very hot. Mm -hmm. Playing in uh, artificial turf. And the game was uh, the game was uh, uh, very very tough for us. We started the game within uh, ten minutes. Uh, they red carded our captain, that is uh, Ibusilla. So we really struggled. We we did everything possible yeah. to get the points there. Uh, and uh, thank God, um, I made a lot of lot of saves. Um, uh, to make the score line zero zero, uh, it was a difficult game. At the first half, every minute the ball was coming. Yeah. Left, right, left, right. The ball was coming, and the, the stadium was very full. So the pressure was coming. Pressure was coming throughout the game. We defended the whole forty-five minutes. Mm -hmm. So we went to the second half. When we came second half, within five minutes, they red cut our vice captain again, Daudaba. Uh, so we struggle again. We fight. We keep yeah. fighting. Balls we are coming. I was just saving, like you know, when when God is on your side. So yeah. sometimes uh, you you yeah you save balls even you don't you don't believe it's you. Yeah. So after yeah. after the game after the game after the game being the smallest 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 player in the team, everybody came to me. They just hugged me. Lots of players give me present. Lots of them bought. Lot of present. Uh, they bought a lot of present in the in the hotel, and they gave me because being my first game, the coach, uh, this Martinez from Spain, yeah. and the assistant coach from Atarik from Egypt. Lot of them, uh, even the assistant coach gave me a watch, a new watch. Oh. And the, the coach also gave me a watch. A uh, lot of them. Uh, so he told me that I couldn't believe that you're going to play this kind of game. Uh, after the game, like mm -hmm. uh, stadium was like cheering me, cheering me. So that was my first exp experience for the mm -hmm. national team. Mm -hmm. It was and... a very, very good day for me, and I was uh, huh? then. 
then now you i think talking. yeah 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 i i'm saying now you are the longest serving player in the nation <clears throat> in the current scorpion squad and also the yeah. first choice goalkeeper how has it revolved yeah. from being the youngest and then now you are the longest serving player and the first choice goalkeeper yeah i told you uh, you know for us goalkeepers we have long career yeah. You can play. We have seen goalkeepers like Buffon. They are playing up to 40 years now, and they are still do, they are still one of the best yeah. in the world. Yeah. So, uh, you know, is as a footballer, you have to manage yourself. Mm -hmm. When you manage yourself, you can play. You can you can have a long career. Mm -hmm. uh, that also helped me because I'm someone who doesn't go out party. Mm -hmm. uh, after training, I'm home. Mm -hmm. I prefer staying with family. Uh, mm -hmm. to rest uh, mm -hmm. that really helped me uh, because some of uh, some of my teammates I started with uh, now a lot of them are not playing yeah uh, so this is my this is my um, uh, this is my uh, what's, what's to say it uh, my belief that oh, took yeah. me up to this time mm -hmm. to play full soccer mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah uh, been uh, uh, starting the game as the youngest player in the team, yeah. and now yeah. I'm the oldest, and I'm one of the oldest player in the team. Yeah, yeah. yeah so I'm proud of myself uh, mm -hmm. because uh, I'm doing a good job. I'm you playing know. because if I was not doing well, if I was not doing well, I don't think I would be still in the national team. Yeah, uh, I've been playing. I have been playing regularly with the national team uh, recently. Mm -hmm. And uh, help, helping them to qualify to the Afcon. Afcon, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So I think I'm really happy about my uh, my career, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm not stop. I'm not stopping here. I'm mm -hmm. not ready to stop here. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to push, to push, uh, to help also the young ones that are coming yeah. uh, to come at least. Um, to give them that chance, to give them that confidence yeah. also uh, to rule their career also. Talking about you not going out to party, I think you are also very religious uh, as to my knowledge. How has it been, how has your football career and religion uh, gone? How have you combined both of them together? Yes, religious is always number one. Yeah. Mm, mm, anything you are doing, you have to, you have to worship God. Yeah. This is why we were here in this world. So I believe that, that as a Muslim, I'm a Muslim. Yeah. Uh, anything you are doing, you have to, you have to worship your God. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't affect my game or yeah. my work. Mm -hmm. uh, because I, I can play the five daily prayers every day mm -hmm. uh, before before training. If it's time to pray, I pray. Yeah. If it's not time, then after training, I pray. Yeah. Uh, so it's not disturbing me. I'm praying uh, every time. If I can pray in a in a in a public in the in the masjid, I mm -hmm. do it. If I have the chance, if mm -hmm. I can, if I don't have the chance, I do it at, at home. Mm -hmm. So it's not affecting me. Uh, it's not affecting me really. Also, you told me about helping the young ones. What plan do you have? Do, and maybe if you have an academy for the goalkeepers in Gambia or you doing some charity work with them? Yeah, honestly, I am. Uh, my plan is for that because already I have a link uh, with uh, uh, Two partners uh, already. They they are goalkeeper coaches and they are doing that only for goalkeepers. Yeah. They work with only goalkeepers academy like uh, the age of uh, 15, 16, 17. Yeah. So I'm uh, trying that uh, life after football because anything as a footballer, you also have to think life after football. Yeah. What you get, the knowledge you get, you have yeah. to share it. You have to share it within, with the young ones that are mm -hmm. coming. Mm -hmm. uh, so at least to open an academy and work with the young ones that are coming to help them. Uh, as we know, goal, goalkeeping is the is the most is the most sensitive sensitive, sensitive uh, position in soccer. Yeah. So you have to you have to start earlier 
the earlier the better when you start uh, playing as a goalkeeper mm -hmm. at the age of 12 mm -hmm. 14 it helps mm -hmm. you but uh, if you start late uh, you can you, can, you, 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 you can you can you can be good but you will not be perfect because uh, uh, technically you will not be good if you see these europeans they they, they start uh, playing at the age of 5 6 yeah yeah so technically they are good basic they have basic they know basic but like we all know africa is always difficult we don't mm -hmm. we don't have those those stuff mm -hmm. uh, as i was playing i don't i have never trained in an academy mm -hmm. i have never trained when i was young i always always go and play we sometimes we make 15 15 bars or 15 so there's no rules you just play where the ball goes you go that oh, position yeah. so nobody train you this is what you should do this is what mm -hmm. you should do mm -hmm. so anything you are doing you use your brain so uh, but now things have changed uh, that uh, the young ones that are coming yeah. uh, they have the opportunity to be to be to be to be the best yeah. because uh, when you learn at the earliest age before before 24 25 you are at your top level yeah you will master everything in goalkeeping uh, so this is my plan uh, mm -hmm. to help the young ones uh, to give them this training mm -hmm. uh, to help them the facilities in gambia uh, that's my plan and mm -hmm. i hope everything will go fine for that inshallah also you told me uh, times have changed now you say that but then I think there, were, uh, there was a time in your career that you did not care how much you are going to be paid, but you just wanted better chances of playing or of becoming a professional. But then now so, times have changed and most footballers go for how much they are paid. So what do you think changed in time? Yeah, you know, as I told you, as we are going, the world is going, yeah. time is going. Yeah. Every, everything is changing. Uh, when I was stay, when I was starting, I don't look at the money. Yeah. Uh, it's like uh, my salary, when I was starting, my salary was uh, <laughs> 1,200 in our money, in, Gambia, in Gambian money. Yeah. That is like maybe 20, 20 or $25 Dollars, yeah. for every month. <laughs> So yeah, you you yeah. So you have to go for it. Uh -huh. That's what you want. Yeah, you have to go and believe yourself. Mm -hmm. Then from there, mm -hmm. I keep pushing. I keep pushing until they push my salary to fifty, sixty dollars. Mm -hmm. So I'm there. I'm there pushing. Yeah. I never stop. Then when I move to Senegal, also at least I have a better opportunity. At least the salary was at least uh, two hundred dollars. At least. That's a, that's a big difference. So as you are going Nigeria, also you went there. Even despite going to Nigeria, the salary was not good. But I say ah, I have to change environment. I have yeah. to change. I have to have new challenges because you never know what is going to going to come. Mm -hmm. When you perform there, you see a better chance to yeah. go. So Somewhere. this is football life. Yeah, always you have to believe yourself. Yeah. Sometimes it's good you look for the money, but when you are your with your with your um, early stage of uh, football, I think you shouldn't look money. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you look your future, but maybe around late uh, 30, 29, that's yeah. the time maybe you you should focus on money. Yeah. Uh, because it's the it's, it's almost at the end of your career. Yeah. Because players, when you reach around 27 28 29 yeah. that's the time now you have to think about money so it's important money is important as mm -hmm. africans because we know we are playing we are playing for money uh, yeah. so that's it so we have to go for it also i just want to know the mood with the zambia with the gambian national team right now because you guys qualified for the afcon for the first time topping your your group how is the mood right now and, and uh, mm. what are your plans in the afghan and do you think you can win it your first appearance do you think you can win it yeah as i told you football football you have to believe yourself yeah uh, in the qualification when they make those uh, qualification 
we went for play playoff preliminary yeah. yeah. against Djibouti, and we struggled to we struggled to beat Djibouti. Uh, we drew in Djibouti one one, and we drew in Gambia one one. Then we have to kick penalty shootout, so we won them. Then from there, uh, later when they make the grouping for the Af Afcon qualification, uh, you have Gabon. Yeah. Everybody knows Gabon. Gabon, One of yeah. The best in Africa. Yeah. You have DRC Congo. Yeah. It's the top ten, top ten African Africa. best team. Yeah. Yeah. Angola. Everybody knows Angola. They have been in the Af Afcon in the past. Yeah. Uh, seven, yeah. Seven, seven uh, nation cups. And uh, everybody said that we are the underdog. We yeah. can make it. Everybody said that in Africa, those who knows football, they know that it's not possible for the team. Oh. But we make the impossible possible. Uh, yeah. We trust that group. We have we have uh, very young uh, uh, talent, very very good talent, mm -hmm. uh, young ones that are ready, that are very determined to play. Mm -hmm. uh, with uh, some of the some of uh, us, the senior players, uh, so we we are one team, one voice, very united. The team was very united. Mm -hmm. uh, playing or not playing, you are united. You want to win. We mm -hmm. need three points always, and we always see it. We talk. This is our year. Yeah. If we can qualify this year, then let's forget about Afcon. Mm -hmm. You understand? This is where we start. Yeah. We have to, we have to prove the, we have to, we have to tell the Gambians that we are the best in the history of this country. Yeah. Uh, this, this was in our mind. Uh, everybody saying, uh, boy, we have to do it. We have to do it. So the confidence was there. The support was there from each other. Mm -hmm. uh, the coach, the coaches, the technical staff also were pushing us, pushing mm -hmm. us always mm -hmm. that we should write history. We should we should put our names in the history book of yeah. the country. You have uh, the first time. Yeah. Yeah. So this is our time. If this time, if we let it go, mm -hmm. then some of us maybe in the next 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 qualification, yeah. maybe uh, we, we 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 are going to retire from the national team. Yeah. So we focus, well focus, and uh, the first game we went to Angola <clears throat> because Angola they they eliminate us in the World Cup playoff. Yeah. So everybody said that, ah, come on, they are going to beat them again because they beat us there. <clears throat> so, but we went with a team, one team, one heart, as a nation, mm -hmm. as a team. Yeah. The team spirit was high. We went there to play. Yeah. We just started, the, we just started the game. They scored so 1 0. Then now uh, we respond. Uh, we respond 1 1. Then we scored the second goal in the okay. second half. We just mm -hmm. killed the game by 3 1, winning. So after the game, like uh, everybody said, this is a good start. Yeah. Let's trust. Let's trust ourselves. You can yeah. do it. Yeah. This is where this is where the journey started. Mm -hmm. We started thinking that we started thinking that we can do it. Uh, we start smelling Afcon. Mm -hmm. Start smelling Cameroon. This is road to Cameroon. Mm -hmm. So we went back within two days. We play with DRC Congo. It was a very difficult game playing with uh, one of the best team in Africa. Mm -hmm. a very strong side. Yeah. Physically very good. They have one of the best strikers in the world mm -hmm. uh, right now. Uh, we play with them. Um, first half, they lead us. We came. Second half, we pull. Then in the last minute, around 70-something, they scores. Then we keep pushing. We believe ourselves. We have to score them in the 90s. 90-plus 90 minutes, around 92 minutes, uh, to, to get the one point, at least four points. We don't want to lose at home. Yeah. Uh, this is what uh, our, our 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 this is what's uh, our discussion. We shouldn't lose any game at home. Yeah. If we lose home, then we have to take a point. And we have to try and win away. Away. Yeah. Then this is where this is where we started four points and we were leading. Mm -hmm. So then after we sit, we normally sit and discuss. Uh, we sit uh, in the history of Afcon qualification. All the team that started to win and they top the league. From two games, they always finish at the top. Yeah. So this is what we what what mm -hmm. we play. Then our our third game was uh, was Angola, sorry, um, Gabon. Inside mm -hmm. Gabon, we went to Gabon. Yeah. Um, that game we struggled because we lost a lot of our players due to COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to Gabon and played the game in Franceville. Uh, we try we tried the game. We did well. 
but unfortunately we lost 2-1 then we come back we we came back to Gambia we beat them 2-1 so oh. still we were we were top in the table yeah uh then two games left so after we normally talk as a team uh, because the team is very very united it's mm-hmm. very solid if you touch one player you have you touch the other one mm-hmm. you understand yeah. everybody and the government the government and the federation um the entire nation everybody was praying and supporting the team yeah. you understand so our last game uh, oh, we when we got seven points we knew that we need only three points in gambia yeah. to qualify yeah. that was against angola so this this like everybody was ready before coming to camp before they announced the team even everybody yeah. said that when i'm there i have to give 100% when i'm here i have to give 100% mm-hmm. you understand yeah so uh, it was a very very tough game a lot of pressure it's a game that you have to win and yeah. go to afcon yeah. you have to win and write the and put your name in the history book yeah. so it was like ah, this game we have to win it so mm-hmm. angola when angola it was march uh, 2021 yes Angola, that's the time Angola came, uh, we played with them. The game was very, very tense uh, because we don't want to concede a, game, a yeah, goal. Yeah. We, we were defending and our, also we want to attack, yeah. we want yeah. to defend. So we can't, we, and we don't want to sit back to wait, to wait. wait them to play. Yeah. So, yeah, but um, thank God our system works. We sit and wait them. When we have the ball and attack them, yeah. so we were very con- we were very conscious in defending and yeah. how to attack. Mm-hmm. We keep the game, we keep playing, we keep playing. Um, I think first, I think first half, no second half. I think we got the goal. Mm-hmm. So when we got the goal, <clears throat> because that time, uh, <clears throat> that time the stadium like uh, no fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two. So, but you can you can hear the noise yeah. outside the stadium. <laughs> yeah. Lots of people, like thousands of thousands, were outside the stadium. Yeah. <clears throat> Some of them were watching on their phones. <clears throat> so you can hear the crowd behind the team, even mm-hmm. they don't know what is going inside the field. Yeah. You know, so we keep pushing, we keep pushing, we defend those, the, that goal, that lead, we defend it, and we were, we were, uh, we were aware of the other game, yeah. what is going on there. Mm-hmm. So when the referee blew the final video, uh-huh. we know we got. We got 10 points. That yeah. was history. Like everybody was on the ground crying mm-hmm. like, um, because you have uh, you have done something that uh, a lot of people have been there. Yeah. Uh, it's not that they are bad. They are good, but it was not their it luck not their and luck, not their yeah. time. Mm-hmm. So we are we uh, we made history, but we are not the best in the country. So we always say that. I always say that we we made a history that nobody have ever yeah, done it. I, yeah. But that doesn't make us the best. Maybe they will say we are the best. Yeah, we are the best. <laughs> we are, lot of lot of lot of good players in Gambia. Yeah. Came, they try, they couldn't. So it's our time that uh, God bless us to qualify to make it in the Afcon. Mm-hmm. Uh, that day after the game, when the game finished. We couldn't go back to our hotel. It's like we spent like four hours, five hours, like we are going to another country. So <laughs> the boss, our boss, yes, yeah. our boss, our boss. Nobody, nobody, the, the, nobody give us chance. Even the boss was not even moving. Moving, yeah. Yeah, thirty I, minutes. We stopped in one place. The fans, everybody, the ambiance was there. Everybody, the country was very nice. Mm-hmm. Everywhere, the display was. Mm-hmm. When you made when you made history, it's always it's always nice. It's nice. very very sweet. Yeah, yeah. The country was nice. Everybody was happy that we have made history. Mm-hmm. And uh, now the focus is Afcon. Afcon. Yeah. What that one has yeah that one has passed. Mm-hmm. Now we need to focus and uh, go to Afcon and mm-hmm. play mm-hmm. Uh, our normal football and yeah. play our style. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We are a smaller, one of the smallest country in the Afghan. Yeah. Uh, and we are, uh, if you check on the ranking, I think we have the, we have the, uh, we are, we have, we are behind every, every country. 
uh, all of them, they are one of maybe 100, but we are 100 plus. To, but that doesn't make us uh, the bad team in the, yeah. in the, in the AFCON. Mm -hmm. uh, we are not just going there to participate. We, we to want to meet. achieve something. Yeah. We want to achieve something. Uh, in our group, all of them, they have been in the AFCON. Mali is a big team. Yeah. Well respected in, in the world, mm -hmm. Africa also. Uh, you can see they are going to the playoff for the World Cup. Yeah, it beat uh, my team the other day. It beat my team home and away. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, Tunisia. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one, of, one of the hottest uh, North African team. Uh, you have Multari, Multani. They are our neighbors, uh, mm -hmm. very close neighbors. Mm -hmm. They have also very good. We have, we have played with them uh, 2016 uh, qualification. Mm -hmm. We lost to them in uh, in uh, Mutani 2-1. We drew with them 0-0 in Gambia. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's a different team. Uh, this, this team and that team, is we have a lot of different. So I think it's not going to be easy, really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, with, uh, with the caliber of players we got, mm -hmm. the talent we got, I think we can upset any team in the Africa, any team. Inshallah. And um, uh, I expect the team um, to go to the uh, round of 16, mm -hmm. really. Uh, I'm very sure our objective is to play the first round and move to the second round. Mm -hmm. If we move to the second round, that's a, that's a no-man game because it's, it's a, it's, it's a yeah. knockout. Yeah. It's a knockout. So, uh, you can you can beat anybody yeah when you, you are there mm -hmm. yeah when we are in the round of 16 all the teams all the countries they will say ah, this small country yeah this would be our yeah they will they will even scared mm -hmm. because a lot of big 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 countries they don't want to play with small small, small countries teams, yeah because they always upset you we have nothing to lose mm -hmm. we go in we go in there to push them mm -hmm. to show them fire mm -hmm. F, yeah <laughs> um, we are not stopping there so <laughs> and i'm very so I'm very sure uh, we'll uh, we'll make we we're going to make a big name there in the Afcon. So mm -hmm. thank you very much. Uh, I think I enjoyed the better part of this show. Thank you for creating your time. You're you're my first Gambian guest. I've never hosted any Gambian on my show, so I appreciate so much. And I just wish you all the best in your Afcon. Thank you so much. Yeah. I really appreciate also your invitation. Yeah. Uh, uh, we shall meet again. Uh, uh, maybe we shall meet at the AFCON. Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> we shall meet, inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And to our viewers, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Safari Soka Show. Follow us on all our social media handles at Safari Soka Show on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thank you very much. And also wishing you all the best with your current club, Black Leopards. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye. Bye.